Good afternoon. It's my honor to present this year's BIF Ambassador Award. Each year, BIF recognizes a member of the media for his or her efforts in spreading the news of BIF and its principles to a larger audience. The daughter of a registered nurse and the founding president of the University of North Georgia Gainesville, this year's recipient learned the importance of performance testing the BIF way while working at Berry College's bull test station near Mount Berry. Though she went to school to learn how to take care of her horse, she says she quickly learned she adored cattle. EPDs were in the formative stages during her time in graduate school at the University of Georgia, and with Drs. Curly Cook and Dan Daniels, both on her graduate committee, she got a more in-depth look at performance programs in BIF. This year's recipient says she accidentally launched her career writing a short story, later published in a school paper, about her experience at an AI school. Then, while attending a stalker finisher tour, she met John Leidner, an editor at Progressive Farmer. He encouraged her to write an article for the publication, then hired her that summer to work on the Sunbelt Expo program. In addition to Progressive Farmer, she is a field editor at the Angus Journal and the Angus Beef Bulletin, and she writes for the Gulf Coast Cattlemen. Throughout her 40-year career, she's written for Farm Journal, including its Hogs Today, Dairy Today, and Beef Today publications. Though her main focus is on cattle, she has written about subjects ranging from ballet dancing poultry farmers to daylily growers. She has a passion for those she writes about, and it shows in both her writing and the photos she takes to document her stories. She has a knack for taking complicated subjects and revealing the practical application through the experience of fellow producers. Combine that with her love of cattle and people, and writing to support BIF was only natural. It's my honor to present this year's BIF Ambassador Award to Miss Becky Mills. Congratulations, Becky.